Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. No, just like just when they when they're placing the crown. Yeah. If I'm just kind of in front.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Queen Coronation, celebrating what would otherwise be the 62nd annual Barbecue Days celebration. Due to um, social distancing restrictions, this year we're holding the coronation at the City Council Chambers. Uh, we're not in the South Gym in front of a live audience. We're not out at Tiger Park as we were for many years with a packed grandstand. And because of social distancing restrictions, this year there was no traditional barbecue days. There was no parade on Saturday morning. There was no fun up at the park. There were some terrific fireworks last night. Hopefully everyone was able to see those and enjoy those. And despite all of the restrictions that have come about, the 2020 Barbecue Days Chair, Sony Masonbring, and the 2020 Queen's Committee, Renee Lemieux, Heather Borkart, Sony Masonbring decided, you know what, let's try to conduct this event, even with those restrictions. And let's try to engage the community positively as part of that process. So with that decision made, 16 candidates and 16 candidate sponsors said, you know what, we're in. And it's a terrific, terrific decision they made and we're very appreciative of that. And engage the community they did. They, they created uh, 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 sparkling buckets that were circulated around the community, which I believe are still uh, circling and circulating amongst the community. They conducted princess visits for and with young ladies around the community. And I believe even with all the restrictions, they came close to a record-breaking number of barbecue days button sales. And that's a credit to the ladies. And I think even, Renee mentioned earlier, I think this year's winner of the most buttons sold is the all-time winner. Sold the most buttons of any candidate ever. And last Sunday, we had some good fun with the candidates where they all confirmed their desire to be ambassadors for the city that we all call home. And we talked about the importance of enthusiasm. We talked about the importance of making something your own and doing the best you can. And we also talked about the idea of participation and seeing this whole event as its own reward, the participation as its own reward, and the time that they share with the, the other um, uh, contestants this week, and then the 62 years worth of contestants that have participated in this. So the ladies deserve a lot of credit, and again, our appreciation. And one final thought, I had a chance to talk to the judges last week after our time together, and I asked them, what was unique or special about this group of ladies? And they said that they were caring, that they were kind, and they were also very, very complimentary towards each other. So again, we appreciate that very much. And with that, I'll introduce this year's candidates. Please welcome candidate Jalen Borison, and her sponsor is Chestnut Realty, Mary Steer and Tricia Rood. Please welcome Cadence Brande Leon. Her sponsor is Alex Blair, the Canopy Group. Please welcome Rebecca Brugemeyer. Her sponsor is Matt Sachs, Chevrolet Buick. Please welcome Isabel Fall. Her sponsor is Impact Nutrition. Please welcome Ari Kep. Her sponsor is Bell Plain Chiropractic. Please welcome Bryn Meyer. Her sponsor is Annie's Cafe and Catering. Please welcome Lizzie Schmidt. Her sponsor is First National Bank, Minnesota.
Please welcome Becca Schwittenberg. Her sponsor is By the Yard. Please welcome Greta Steinhagen. Her sponsor is Cornerstone State Bank. Please welcome Lydia Struffert. Her sponsor is Emma, Emma Crumby's Restaurant. Please welcome Hannah Tharaldson. Her sponsor is Red Door and Corner Bar. Please welcome Daisy Vinkemeyer. Her sponsor is Steer Bus. Please welcome Lauren Walter. Her sponsor is Spectrum Auto Body. Please welcome Ava Weering. Her sponsor is Kingsway Retirement Living. Please welcome Jordan Williams. Her sponsor is Midwest Independent Living Services. And please welcome Alyssa Young. Her sponsor is Jim's Apple Bar in Minnesota's largest candy store. And how about a big round of applause collectively for the 2020 candidates? All right, now we're going to introduce the 2019 royalty, all escorted by their dads. Big round of applause. Please welcome 2019 Miss Congeniality, Isabella England. <laughs> Please welcome with a big round of applause 2019 Second Princess, Brooke Adamitz. Please welcome 2019 First Princess, Madam Madison McGrain. And please welcome 2019 Miss Bell Plain, Kara Wrights. And one more time, how, to, how about a big round of applause for all of the 2019 royalty? All right, I think you could sit down, candidates and royalty. And next, what we're going to do is announce the uh, button raffle uh, winner for the um, top button seller. And then that person is going to help me draw the three prizes, the $200, $100, and $50 prizes. So if uh, I'm going to announce the candidate winner, if she can please come up and join me. This year's uh, button winner is selling 163 buttons, the most ever by anyone. Please welcome Lizzie Schmidt. Come on up, Lizzie. <laughs> I believe there's something in there for you, Lizzie, and it's not a button. <laughs> so you hold on to that, okay? So what I'd like you to do, Lizzie, let's draw the three winners. The first one you're going to uh, hand to me is going to be the 200, then the 100, then the 50, but I'm going to read them in reverse order, okay? So go ahead, if you could, just reach over there. Mix them up first, actually, if you could. Very good. So... This is going to be the $200 winner. Oh, but one just jumped out. The fix is in. I'm going to put that one there. Oh, two more. Actually, those could be the other two. Why not? Close it up. There are no four winners. Okay, so we're going to start with the $50 winner. And thank you, by the way, Lizzie. The $50 winner this year is Trisha Rude. So, Trisha, you get $50. Okay, the $100 winner is uh, Paloma Trejo. Okay, that's $100. And the $200 this winner this year is Tina Pingalor. $200. All right. Well, before we get to the crowning, I'd like to make a couple of just special acknowledgments. Uh, what we wanted to do is thank this year's judges, Jill Holden, C.C. Jaycox, and Julie Severson. 
Want to thank Sony Mason Bring and the Bell Plain Festivals and Events. Want to thank Townsend Printing and the Bell Plain Herald. Want to thank Christine Schutte and Twistmeyer Marketing. Want to thank Elsie Wolf. Want to thank the Bell Plain Fire Department and Ladies Auxiliary. Want to thank Velvet Touch Catering. They catered the event last Sunday. It was terrific. Want to thank Front Porch Photography. Want to thank Next Chapter Winery, the host for last Sunday's event. Want to thank the City of Belle Plaine for the use of their facilities and their overall support. And want to make a special thanks to the Queen's Committee, Renee Lemieux, Coordinator, Heather Borkart, and Sonny Masonbring. Special thanks also to the Crown Sponsors, Next Chapter Winery and Front Porch Photography. Again, one more time, thanks to our fantastic candidate sponsors. Thank you for the outgoing royalty, their families, your time and commitment are much appreciated. And thank you again to the Bell Plain community for your ongoing support of our program. So let's get to the crowning. So please, if you could, welcome up with a big round of applause the 2019 Miss Congeniality, Isabella England. Hello and good afternoon. I am your 2019 uh, to 2020 Miss Congeniality, Isabella. I'd first like to say thank you for coming today and being here. Even if everyone couldn't come, the sport is greatly appreciated. Thank you to my sponsor, KMF Advisors. Thank you parents for being here for us always, decorating the float and turning your lives upside down for us. Thank you, Renee and Sony, for always playing such fun events. Thank you, Bell Plain, for your continuous support that keeps us going. This experience is a true honor and something I will forever cherish to be a part of. Kara, thank you for being the best queen I could ask for. You always know how to make a room light up and have us always laughing. Maddie, I have to say you are the funniest, one of the funniest people I've ever met. You come up with the funniest faces and, you've always, and you're always eager to try new things, especially food. <laughs> Every parade, Maddie couldn't wait to try new food and always made sure to have cash on her to do so. Brooke, you're the sweetest person ever, and you're always so friendly. Brooke perfected our wave and made sure that we were in sync with each other throughout all of our parades and made sure to snap and yell at us if we didn't. You all have impacted me so much, and I've always been there to listen. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for the memories, and thank you for the fun. I love you guys so much and wish you the best of luck along with the candidates. Thank you again, and let's see who's going to replace me. And what we're going to do also is we're going to ask the parents, because we're not in the South Gym and we don't have the, uh, uh, a young person who helped us with the drum roll, if the parents can kind of recreate a drum roll as we get ready for the crowning, it would be greatly appreciated. And uh, let's get on with the crowning. You want to take that there, Isabella? And one other reminder, Miss Congeniality receives a $650 college scholarship. All right, leave that with me if you could. How about the faux drum roll, please? Very good. Two thousand twenty Miss Congeniality Bryn Meyer. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, thank my parents for everything they do for me, and I'd like to thank my sponsor Annie for helping me with this uh, opportunity. And I'd like to thank all these wonderful girls for running with me. It was such a fun time. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. 
Thank you, Bryn. Congratulations. Please welcome up with a big round of applause the 2019 Second Princess, Brooke Adamitz. Hello, my name is Brooke Adamitz, and I'm your 2019 2020 Second Princess. I want to thank you all for being able to make it here today and thank anyone, everyone who has helped our royalty this past year. Thank you to Renee, Sony, and everyone else who has helped us stay organized throughout the year and keep us on track. Thank you to my sponsor, River Valley Family Chiropractic, and all the sponsors for making this possible today. To my parents and all of the parents here, thank you for everything you do for us. We couldn't do any of this without you all. You have helped us so much with, from making the float to providing us with everything we may, we may need to make it through the day during parades. Bella, Maddie, and Kara, I'm so happy to have been given the chance to go on this journey with you guys. Bella, you have always been here for us to talk to and bring so much energy wherever we go. You are such a sweet person, and I'm so glad I've gotten to know you. Maddie, you're always there for us when we need you. You always keep us on time for events, and will always go on a food run with me, rain or shine. And lastly, Kara, I really couldn't have asked for a better queen. You are truly the greatest person I will ever have met, and I know that you have brought us all closer together this past year. You keep us all on your toes with your constant laughter and silliness, and know we will never forget you. All of you have helped me to get out of my comfort zone, and I truly couldn't have asked for a better court to run with. I want to thank you all again for everything and for coming out here. Best of luck to our upcoming royalty, and let's see who the next second princess is. Thank you, Brooke. Don't go away. You've got that. And uh, also to confirm, the second princess receives a $750 college scholarship. Hey, leave that with me if you could. And grab that crown and a faux drum roll if we could. You better pace yourself. I took a little bit last time. All right. Two thousand twenty second princess Lydia Strufford. First of all, I'd like to thank my parents, Mary and David Strufford, for, for pushing me to be here. You are my number one support. Thank you to Emma Crumbies, my sponsor. I work there almost every day, so you'll see, you'll never be afraid to see my happy face. Thank thank you, ladies, for everything. This is a great opportunity. I hope it's going to be one heck of a year. Thank you. Thank you, Lydia. Congratulations. And please welcome up with a big round of applause, 2019 First Princess Madison McGrain. Someone didn't move the speeches. <laughs> Hello, my name is Madison McGrain, First Princess of 2019-2020. I want to thank everyone for being here with us today. I know times are a little different right now, but thank you for taking the time out of your day to be with us for this amazing experience. I would like to give a special thanks to the sponsors for making this happen, especially Perfection Plastering. Thank you to all the parents for helping set up the floats and making the experience twice as fun, whether it be knowing the parade route or helping us pack like sardines in one truck while it starts hailing. You guys meant the world to us, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Thank you, Renee, for setting up all the parades and activities that we did. Without you, we wouldn't be princesses. Thank you to the Festivals and Events Committee for making this possible. Oh. Bella, Miss Congeniality, thank you for helping us get a little out of our comfort zone with your sparkly touches. You are such a unique person, and it was so nice to get, to get close to you this year. You're a very hardworking person, and I will never forget you because of that. Brooke, my other princess, the person that would always be the one to come with me all <laughs> to all the food trucks. You're an amazing person and always know how to make me laugh. 
Not to mention your taste in music is spectacular. Kara, thank you for being the true queen. You were always the one that knew where to guide us. You are the sweetest person, and I wouldn't have wanted to share this experience with anyone else. Thank you to all three of you for making this a year I won't forget. To the candidates, you're an amazing group of ladies, and I am so happy that I got to know each and one, every one of you. You probably won't even remember these speeches because you're all so nervous, and that's okay. <laughs> but remember this. Whether you get crowned or not, this next year is going to be one that you won't forget. And if I've learned anything living in this pandemic, it is that you have to enjoy every moment and to not forget about the little things. Now let's get this show on the road. Thank you, Maddie. Also, this year's first princess receives an $850 college scholarship. Leave that with me if you could. All right, faux drum roll, please. Two thousand twenty first princess Jalen Borison. I'm so happy, oh my god. Um I'd like to thank my parents and my sponsor, Chestnut Realty, and I'd like to thank all the girls I ran with. It was such a great experience I'll never forget. I can't wait to make new memories with the girls that are gonna get crowned. Thank you, Jalen. Congratulations. Please welcome up with a big round of applause the 2019 Miss Bell Plain, Kara Wrights. Hello, everyone. My name is Kara Wrights, and it has been such an honor to be your Miss Bell Plain this year. I've enjoyed every minute of participating in this year's royalty, from running with my grades candidates to getting to know all of you. I have so many people I need to thank for making me the person I am and proceeding to help me achieve more girls every step of the way, especially this year. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always being on top of it and keeping me on schedule. You've done more work than I can ask for. Thank you to my sponsor, Tim Steer, for helping me with the opportunity to making the experience ten times better. Thank you to Renee for being such an amazing guide for us. You're so easygoing, and it helps us to stay sane in crazy situations. And Sony, thank you for helping in the process. And last but not least, thank you to the current court. You've made me a better person inside and out and made me love and accept myself for who I am. I love each and every one of you and hope to always stay in touch. I'm forever grateful for having you guys in my life and the memories we have made. We've made the most of the year and all of the events we've attended, and I couldn't have asked for a better group of girls. It has been such a blast. I'm so sad to see this part of my life come to an end, but we will always be your Miss Bell, your Bell Plain 2019-2020 royalty, and that's something we will hold on to forever. I wish the next Miss Bell Plain in court nothing but the best in this crazy life we live in this year. I know that you guys will make the most of it. Thank you, Kara. And the Miss Bell Plain uh, this year will receive a $1,250 college scholarship. Leave that with me. And faux drum roll, please. Two thousand twenty Miss Bell Plain, Cadence Brand de Leon. Oh my goodness. 
Yes. Well, <laughs> thank you guys all so much. I appreciate everything all the other girls have done. And I'm so glad I've gotten to know all of you guys these past few weeks, months-ish. Um, I'd like to thank my parents, Oscar and Sarah Brondelion, who have helped me and encouraged me every step of the way, and my sponsor, Alex Blair. And my final note is that I cannot wait for the journey this is about to take us all on. And I am so happy I got to meet, not meet, sorry, <laughs> to get to know all of you guys better. Um, be kind to one another. <laughs> Congratulations, Cadence. Thank you. And how about a big round of applause for the 2020 Queen's Court? Also, a big round of applause for the outgoing 2019 royalty. Congratulations uh, again to this year's royalty. Very importantly, thank you very, very much to the candidates for your participation. Thank you, parents, for your support and sponsors for your support as well. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you very much for coming.